Hi students, this is Dr. Rimler. Welcome to English 1101, one of Armstrong's first year learning communities. I want to apologize for my absence today. I had to take my son to college in New York, and so this is where I've been. And as you're watching this video, I am driving down I-95 back to Savannah so I can be with you. Here is a photo of me, so when I show up on Wednesday, this is what I'll look like, except in color. The photo on the right is Professor Judith Garrison. She's the teacher of AASU 1100, the other component of our learning community, and I believe that she's here today also to talk to you for a few minutes. So we'll be working together in this learning community. My office is in the Aquatic and Recreation Center, which is the building right behind the library and right next to the Student Fitness Center. If you go in those front doors and turn to the right, you'll find the English Department office, and my office is in there. I welcome you to come see me whenever you'd like. I'm going to ask Dr. Howells to pass around the attendance sheet now. That's how I'll begin every class, and you'll notice that your name is written on that sheet with a blank next to it. If you would sign your name on that blank, you will verify that you are here today and got the information that's typed at the top of each page. Usually that information is your homework assignment, and your homework assignment for Wednesday is to be prepared for an in-class essay that we'll do. Bring plenty of paper and one or two pens to write with, and if you want to bring a dictionary, you can do that as well. We have two textbooks for this course. One of them is our Armstrong's Custom English 1101 textbook, word by word, and then we also have the Little Penguin Handbook, which is a handbook that covers the rules of standard English and documentation. These books come bundled in a package, and they're available at the campus bookstore and also across the street at textbook brokers. It doesn't really matter to me where you get your books, but I do require that you have them in class. So anytime I give you an assignment out of a textbook, I expect you to bring that book to class on that day. If you already have your textbook, please open it to the inside front cover and write this URL inside. If you don't have your book yet, put this URL in your notebook. But if you have your book, please write in there. Just take a minute to do that. No, really, you can write in your book. It's yours. Really, you can. It's your book, and you can write in it. Uh, once you finish that, just make sure that you put it in your browser when you get home, maybe bookmark it so you can come to it regularly because this is the URL to our course website and we'll be referring to it often throughout the semester. Let's take a look at it now. Here it is. This, the front page of the website is the blog of our website and I'm going to be updating this daily. And I will always put in the posting um, information telling you what you may have missed if you were absent and how you can be prepared upon return. So if you ever miss class, this is where you should come to get the, that important information. I'll also put important announcements on this blog as well. I have already emailed you a syllabus. But just in case you lose it, the syllabus is on the course website as well. And because you know how to read, I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but I do want to point out that all of my contact information is here as well as my office hours. There's a course description and some important notes. And one of them is this. Our class is a phone-free zone. I've established that policy because I want to uh, avoid as many distractions as possible. And so I'm going to leave my phone in the office every time I come to class, and I'm going to ask you to leave your phone at home as well. If you forget, and if you have your phone with you when you come to class, I'll expect you to turn it off. Don't set it to vibrate. We can hear that. Turn it all the way off and keep it where I can't see it, because if I see a phone or hear a phone, I'll dismiss you and count you absent for the day. In addition, I'm going to ask that students not operate laptops or tablets during class because they can also be a distraction. From time to time, we may need computers in class, and if it's appropriate, I'll let you know when you can do that. Our attendance policy is pretty simple. I want you to read the details on your own, but in short, what you need to know is that you can have four absences this semester without penalty. If you are absent more than four times, then your course grade will drop a little bit according to how many you have. 
Okay, so read the second bullet carefully, but everyone needs to know that if you're absent more than eight times this semester, you will fail English 1101, regardless of what your grades are. So if you have grades on everything, but you're absent too many times, you could fail the course. So be very careful of your attendance. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and take you to the assignments section of the syllabus. We have uh, several written assignments in class, and if you type them outside of class, you should do so on a word processor. All of those guidelines are written here. You do need to keep in mind that all of your essays should abide by Armstrong's Honor Code. A common violation of the Honor Code is plagiarism, so you need to be careful that you know that you know what it is and that you avoid it. Sometimes students plagiarize without realizing it, so just be very careful of that. Armstrong's Honor Code can be found at this URL here, which I provided for you. So if you're not familiar with the Honor Code, please make yourself familiar with it before you turn in any papers. Also keep in mind that I don't accept late assignments. I've already given you your writing assignments and the deadlines from the first day. So set those in your calendars and make sure that you do your work in plenty of time to get your work in on time. Now, we've got three different kinds of assignments this semester. We have that first in-class essay that we're doing on Wednesday, and then over the next few weeks you're going to revise it several times to develop it more, make it a more thoroughly written paper. So that's one of your assignments, and by the end of the term you'll turn in a fleshed out, nicely written research essay. Then we have three other research essays that you will do largely outside of class with the assistance of me and Professor Garrison who will help you with the information literacy component of it. And then we have classwork assignments which are just shorter assignments that we either do in class or for homework to help me to see how well you're grasping concepts in class. You don't get letter grades for these classwork assignments. Instead you'll get check marks if you earned credit and I'll explain those check marks in just a few minutes. We have a grading policy that we should take a look at next since we're talking about assignments and the grading criteria are listed here. Now this is going to be unusual for most of you. I find it very difficult to apply numbers to writing, and so I pretty much stopped doing that. Instead, when I grade your work, I give you letter grades, but then you have to meet certain criteria to earn a course grade. Okay, So, for instance, if you wanted to earn an A in English 1101, then you would have to meet these criteria. You must turn in all stages of that in-class essay and revisions of it. You need to score above average on at least two of those revisions and earn no lower than a satisfactory on the other revisions and then by the final draft of the paper earn an A. Then on those three research essays, you need to turn all of them in and earn A's on at least two of them and no lower than a B on the others. And then you need to earn at least 10 check marks for your classwork. Okay, so for each letter grade that you want to earn for the course, you have to just do what is listed beneath that grade. Now there are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. One is that in order for you to earn at least a C in English 1101, you must turn in all of the assigned essays and they all must adhere to our honor code. So there's no way to skip an essay assignment and earn a grade higher than a D. You also must keep in mind that in order to move on to English 1102, you have to earn the grade of C or higher in this class. So while it's possible to make a D in English 1101, it's not possible to make that D and then move on to English 1102. So just be mindful of the grading policies and write the best essays that you can. Okay, now the essay assignments are also posted on the website. I'm not going to go through all of this right now because we're going to go over all of these assignments together in class. Okay? I've provided rubrics for you. I've given you deadlines. Everything you need to know about them is on the website just in case you want that advanced knowledge. But we will go over all of these together in class and I will answer any questions that you have about them. Okay? So that's the assignments page. And finally, here's the schedule page. And this is just an outline of what you can expect us to accomplish over the next 15 weeks. You will notice that I've put important dates such as deadlines and holidays in bold print in maroon to highlight that. 
Keep in mind that um, this deadline, this schedule, I'm sorry, this schedule is not carved in stone. If we need to spend a little bit longer on some concepts and not take quite as long on others, we'll do that. And if I ever need to change a deadline for a paper, I'll do so well ahead of time in writing so you can adjust your calendar. I try not to do that, but sometimes we have to make those adjustments. And I will always give you plenty of time to make those adjustments to your work. So that's the schedule. And then we also have the writing tips if you ever need them over the course of the semester. So that's the website. And if you have any questions about it, please let me know. In fact, if you have any questions about any of our course policies or what we're going to be doing in this class, you're, feel free to call me or email me. My email address is here as well as my phone number. I will be back in my office tomorrow, Tuesday, August 14th. So I'll be available to communicate with you in any way you wish to. Um, if you don't have any questions, I'll just see you on Wednesday right here in class. And don't forget that we have our first in-class essay on Wednesday. So bring plenty of paper and something to write with. Okay? Thank you.